least with super male or super female vitality, specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe, used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com. Most of the InfoWars radio listening audience is aware of the high quality, affordable firearms available that are made right here in America at HDFirearms.com. One of the most exciting things about HDFirearms.com is the ability to upgrade your AR-15 platform today. They call it their low-profile platform, PVX muzzle brakes, proven to help control muzzle rise. 6061 billet material with Type 3 hard coating. Bolt carrier group for 308 and 556 ARs. Custom Kydex holsters. Ideal for concealed carry with .080 thick Kydex to ensure durability. Most competitors' material use .060. Configure yours today at hdfirearms.com. And my favorite, single stage trigger, a home run upgrade for your AR-15 and AR-10 platforms. Find out more at hdfirearms.com today or call 770-485-7015. That's hdfirearms.com or call 770-485-7015. Welcome back to the 2015 Money Bomb for InfoWars. If you're able to help us, that number is 888-253-3139. We thank you for your support. We're trying to go to the next level, reach 400 million people with $1 million. We're covering the debate right now. As we took a break, they got into taxes. And of course, what they're going back and forth now is whether or not they should have a progressive tax system, which Donald Trump says he supports because many people have said that it's progressive, it's more fair, versus a proportional tax, which Dr. Carson supports, he says, I think that we ought to have everybody pay the same amount of taxes, that that is a freeing thing. We'll listen to them and then we'll have our comments. A tremendous amount of money and paying virtually no tax, and I think it's unfair. Thank you, Mr. Trump. Senator Paul. I'm glad we're having a discussion about taxes because everybody laments that we lose jobs overseas. Well, yeah, our, our companies and our jobs are being chased overseas by a 70,000 page tax code. So that's why I've chosen to get rid of the whole thing and have one single rate, 14 and a half percent for everybody, business and for uh, corporate, in, corporate income and personal income. But we also get rid of the payroll tax so the working class would get a tax break as well. So I think a flat tax, eliminating the tax code, getting rid of all the loopholes is the way to go and it's a way we get America going. And when he's talking about the payroll tax, I understand he's talking about Social Security and Medicare. Those are flat percentages. You don't get any deductions to those, remember? You pay about 7.5% is what you see. Your employer pays about 15.5%. That's your true cost to the employer. It's costing you 15.5%, no deductions. And he's talking about folding that into the overall 14.5% rate. So that would actually be less than we're currently paying. Interesting that years past, Harry Brown, who ran as a candidate for the Libertarian Party, said, would you be willing to give up the income tax uh, to have a smaller government? How far back would you have to go? And of course, that answer is only a couple of years. I did the math today. If you look at the small amount that the income tax contributes based on all of the control that it gives the government over you, we would have to go back to government the size that it was in 2003. That's how fast our government is growing. That's what we, I think I could live with a government that was the size that it was in 2003. I could live with a government that was much smaller than that. 
Uh, but that's what we would have to do. We'd have to cut government back to the level of spending that it was in 2003 in order to just completely get rid of the income tax, not play all kinds of games with reform that we see. All these guys have a tax reform plan. Let's just get rid of it. Let's take it all the way back. But I like the idea of a flat tax. What do you, what do you all think? It doesn't bother me at all. I, I agree. I mean, the people don't even know how know the tax code because it's 15,000 pages. It's constantly changing. Exactly. A law that is sufficiently complex is the same as having no law at all. We see this repeatedly. And we see that a tax code that is sufficiently complex is the same as having no tax at all for the men and women who write the tax code, who hire the lobbyists to put their special tax benefits in. And that's what they were talking about at the very beginning. I can understand that Donald Trump would want to keep a progressive code because people like him who game the system, they can get away with not paying any income taxes whatsoever. We just saw today that General Electric, which pays absolutely no corporate taxes, famously has has done that for the longest amount of time. One of the largest military industrial comp, uh, contractors out there has just announced that because the Export Import Bank is no longer going to loan uh, foreigners money to buy their products here. Okay, so it wasn't enough for them to pay no taxes. They wanted the federal government to extend low interest or no interest loans to foreigners to buy General Electric products because they didn't renew the Export Import Bank. They're going to move their company abroad. See, they're going to milk us and they're going, these vampires are going to take every last drop of blood out of us here in America. And once they do, they're going to go to a new location where they can sink their teeth into somebody else's neck. Wow. At Mystic Maverick on Twitter says progressive tax system as a plank for Karl Marx's Communist Manifesto, exactly. hashtag Moneybomb2015. Exactly. And I find it interesting that all these people who are so concerned about everybody paying 10%, 1%, 15%, whatever, everybody paying the same percentage, as Dr. Carson pointed out, you make $10 billion, you pay $1 billion in taxes. The rich people don't like that who write the tax codes. Mm -hmm. The Marxists don't like that who write the tax codes. But understand, the Social Security, which everybody seems to love, especially the socialists love that, that is the most regressive tax out there. Everybody pays the same flat percentage on Social Security until you get over 100 and some odd thousand dollars, and then at that point, you don't pay the Social Security taxes anymore. It's as regressive a tax system as anybody has ever come up with. If you want to call, if you want to use those terms, regressive and progressive, again, understand that you're playing into the Marxist terminology. Proportional taxes would be something that would be fairer, but let's cut the size of government. Let's if you can look past Ben Carson's forced vaccinations, do you think that he would make a good candidate with that aside? Well, it's not just his forced vaccination. Yeah, he also had said some things about firearms, which I'm definitely not for, especially running as a Republican. Yeah, he, he said uh, when he was talking about the Second Amendment, he said, uh, look, I can understand why people in rural yeah. areas would want firearms, but you don't need them in cities, See. okay? And these guys have bodyguards, they're at a, right. a event with full of security. All these guys, you know, they you know have some ranch or whatever, some place secluded. Basically, the bottom line is they have protection for themselves. And anybody who would take your protection away from you is definitely not a good candidate, in my opinion. Right. Not, not saying that he's a completely bad candidate. He does have you know some good points that he makes from time to time, but that's a big glaring issue in my eyes. The problem I have with Ben Carson is what I said before. I would never hire him as a brain surgeon if he had never studied anatomy. I would never hire him as a president if he hasn't studied the Constitution and he doesn't understand individual liberty. And he hasn't taken the time to bother with that. He's gone through and he's, he's an outsider, he's a new candidate. But as I said before, if you look at his policies, they're essentially the same thing we've been seeing from the Republicans mm -hmm. promising us for the last 30 or 40 years. Yeah, like you said, it's just a template, like they yes. print off a template. Exactly. How you go, it's some word document, <laughs> you yeah. Republican talking points, <laughs> and they just quote that. Well, this kind of goes in with what we were just talking about. Zach Mount says, which of the candidates will enforce mandatory vaccines? We already know that Ben Carson being one of those. Which ones won't? And which ones will take away Cali's law? Hashtag money bomb 2015. Well, I'm not sure what everybody thinks about uh, vaccination, so I can't elaborate too much on that. Have you guys seen what, I, the only person that I have seen address mandatory vaccines has been Rand Paul. And he said, I, and he took a vaccine. He said, I'm a doctor, I believe in vaccines, but I would not mandate them for people because I think it's important that we do not remove informed consent. But he's the only one that I've seen that has actually addressed the issue that I know of. Have you seen any? I sort of recall uh, Chris Christie actually speaking and saying, this is crazy, we should allow the parents to have the choice. And then they attacked him over that and he's 
sort of backtracked. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I do believe yeah. that he also Thank thought it was a little, there is a, whole a little bizarre. Coming up ahead, a world of trouble. The well, Jerry, it looks like we're about to go to a commercial. Do you have anything else from uh, the Twitter page? Well, a lot of people are really curious about cannabis, hemp, you know, things like that. We know that Chris Christie said that he would throw people in jail for just a small portion of marijuana because they don't even have the ability to have self-control. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, coming from, this is coming from someone who obviously has no self-control. So what are your <laughs> thoughts about cannabis? You say and, something, you're going to stick it in your mouth, right, Chris? That's, <laughs> that's exactly uh, <laughs> it, 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 it. You know, I, I was just out in the Pacific Northwest. We were in Washington. We were in Oregon. Uh, where uh, recreational pot is legal in Washington. As a matter of fact, we saw flyers where you could do uh, cannabis tourism. We didn't do it. I go to Las Vegas, I don't gamble. I've taken my family there. I use it as a learning experience. Yeah, I've been to bars and I don't drink. Yeah, right. I walk through, exactly, me either. Or walk through the casinos. And, be, and this is important for people to understand. I don't support the end of prohibition because I want to use it. I, I support the end of prohibition because like alcohol prohibition, it destroys our country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when I go to Las Vegas, I took my family to Las Vegas, I did the same thing with them that, I, that my father did with me. We walked through the casinos and he said, look at the poor people here feeding their money into the slot machines. Look at this place, this palace here that's owned by Donald Trump yeah. or Sheldon Adelson or whoever, okay? Do you understand what's going on here? Don't be their fool. Don't be the fool of somebody offering you drugs. But we don't, I don't need, and you don't need, a militarized regime that's going to kick people's doors down with right. SWAT teams to, to uh, knock the weed out of your hand yeah. and send you to jail for mandatory minimums. We've got our, they've got their commercial going on right now for big pharmaceutical companies. Uh, that most likely, that's 75% of the money they make is from big pharmaceutical companies. And one of the reasons that they push in, uh, uh, the reduction of uh, informed consent. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got our money bomb broadcast. That's why we're here live. Uh, this is an extended live broadcast. We're doing this for 28 hours, and we're not even halfway through yet. And we're trying to raise a million dollars to get to 400 million people in North America and Central America. We need your help to get to this next level. You've helped us to get this far. We need your help to get to the next level. If you can support us, please call us at 888-253-3139. Again, that's 888-253-3139. We would also like to thank those of you who have supported us, those of you who would like to support us and to support your health and your family's health, we're offering you specials at the InfoWars store. Everything during this 28-hour money bomb is free shipping at our stores. And of course, we have discounts in addition to a lot of the products that we have in stock. We have 15% off Deep Cleanse, Secret 12, that's our B12 supplement, Oxy Powder. We also have 20% off of Silver Bullet and Brain Force. And this, at this time, through 10 p.m., we have a special 30% off Super Male Vitality. It was 20% earlier today. We are taking that up to 30% off. And we have 30% off of Survival Shield X2. So those two products you can get 30% off of. And we have this hour only. We have a special 20% off of uh, all T-shirts. So we're now in the 9 o'clock hour, right? Um, so this is, uh, yes. No, we're not there. We're still on the 8 p.m. So actually we have... Uh, we have 20% off of ProPure filters in the 8 o'clock hour. And uh, I heard you say something about super male vitality. That's 30% off until 10 p.m. For the next hour. Yes, for the next, actually, the next hour and 10 minutes, we have 30% uh, off of super male vitality. All those specials, or you can just call 888-253-3139 to make a donation. We and also, do David, don't forget support. about the auction items. We have yes. several items Tell us about for auctions. That. We have the head down rifle. Which, if you donate a thousand dollars, your money or your name goes into a hat to be selected for that. If you donate a thousand dollars now through the end of the money bomb, if you donate ten thousand dollars, you might just get to see Leanne McAdoo tase Joe Biggs until he falls to the floor. And also the great auction <laughs> items that we have at the eBay store: the autograph uh, guitars and other things, microphones that you can get at the eBay store. A lot so of that's a yeah. So check out those auction items. Also, we have hashtag Money Bomb 2015, uh, Money Bomb 2015. If you want to ask us questions or you want to make comments about the GOP debate or anything that's else. being held at the regular I library, to get back to, someone was talking about the marijuana, and we were we've been kind of talking about this a lot. Why why haven't they uh, legalized it at this point? Obviously, they're having tremendous uh, success in Colorado. Uh, with, as far as the tax revenue, and 
I've been saying all along, you know, we're, they're going to legalize it as soon as they can figure out how to control it yes. and how they and their cronies and their buddies can be the ones who control it. Just like it looks not like gonna, they've got that in yeah. Ohio. Well, we 